Hey everyone, it's Strange Michael. I hope you're doing well today. First and foremost, my eyes are so swollen. <laughs> they actually hurt so bad from my allergies. Dude, this spring is brutal. Um, I have a movie here that I wanted to talk about. It's a film I've never seen before out of my David Lynch movie collection. He did write and co- or I guess co-write and directed this movie. And I like a lot of his work. I have a lot of it on VHS tapes and quite a few DVDs. My personal favorite being Eraserhead, which I want to review at some point this year. I love Eraserhead. Not everything David Lynch does is art house horror. Uh, some of it can be kind of a thriller thing. Then you have things like Twin Peaks, Eraserhead, this particular movie, that are definitely more horror than anything. I don't know about things like The Elephant Man. Never seen it. I do own a copy of it, but I haven't seen it before. Uh, Dune was horrendous. I think that's kind of the unanimous decision about that movie, but uh, that was a terrible movie. <laughs> So, anyway, here is a film from 1997 I've never seen before. I bought this probably six months ago, I think, is when I picked it up. I was super excited to see it, too, because I had heard a lot of good things. Uh, it's called Lost Highway, and again, it came out in 1997. Now, this stars Bill Pullman and uh, Patricia Arquette, and uh, it, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It has some other people in here you'll know, like Giovanni, R Giovanni Rabisi, is that how you say his name, uh, from TED. And I love Giovanni Ribisi. He's pretty funny. I wish he was in this more. And also, like, small cameos from people like Marilyn Manson and David Lynch himself appear in the movie. Lost Highway is an art house horror film, basically. It's kind of a thriller movie, but it has some supernatural elements. But being art house, does the movie make sense? No. <laughs> no, not really. If I'm being honest with you, not really. Um, I wanted to love this. And I almost do because of the soundtrack. The soundtrack is this very amazing 90s, almost grunge music most of the time. It's incredible. I love that about it. Best thing about the movie, easily. The performances are okay. Patricia Arquette uh, appeals to me quite a bit. Never been a fan of her before, even in Nightmare on Elm Street. But man, that chick is beautiful in this film. Never realized how hot she was until I saw this movie. Um, Lost Highway kind of has two different storylines for it. It's two hours and 14 minutes long. The first half of the film is basically Bill Pullman, who uh, he and his wife, Patricia Arquette, begin to get these weird videotapes in their, I guess, mailbox, front yard, house, door, whatever. Been a couple of days since I saw the movie, so forgive me if I'm a little swampy on some details. Um, they watch these videotapes and realize there's some creepy things on them, maybe possibly somebody breaking into their house, which really is unnerving. As somebody who now owns his first house, uh, that creeps me out a lot. If that happened to me, I would shit bricks. My wife would shit bricks. We collectively would shit bricks. Um, it was kind of eerie. And then, like, halfway through the film, we drop that subplot and we move on into kind of a, uh, a quasi-romance story about this guy who's a mechanic and uh, he's kind of got a thing for this mobster dude's girlfriend. And he's friends with this mobster guy. And this kind of devolves into kind of a thriller romance, if you will. I don't really know how to describe it, but Lost Highway is a very um, odd movie. And again, if you're not into art house films, this is not going to be for you. But those two stories are kind of tied together in a very interesting way. I think I have a general idea of what happened by the end of it, but it's a little messy. It's kind of messy, to be honest with you. It's kind of one of those movies that people try to uh, pretend like it's this incredibly smart thing. It's really not. It's kind of dumb, to be honest with you. And I love David Lynch. Like I said, he seems like a hilarious guy. I love his writing advice and stuff. Very, very sweet fellow. I even watch his YouTube channel sometimes. Um, I really like David Lynch. This is not one of his best efforts. This is not as good as something like, obviously, Eraserhead or Twin Peaks, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I like Twin Peaks more than I like this, obviously. I'll try to review that at some point this year. We'll see what happens, but... Uh, Lost Highway is kind of a mixed bag. A very, very mixed bag, to be honest with you, but the soundtrack, Patricia Arquette, and Bill Pullman's performance is good. I think all of those things really make this fun to watch. Um, the style of it is very unique. It's a very slow movie, though. <laughs> I will say that, too. Between the editing, the shitty storytelling, the wannabe art house stuff from an art house director who I do think has talent, um, this is all over the place, and it's, to me, not really as good as it could have been. So at the end of the day, Lost Highway is one movie that I was really excited to review for this channel, and I was really hoping I could say a lot of really cool things about it. But I'm not in love with it, to be honest with you. I'm just not. I wanted to love it, I just 
can't bring myself to love it, to be honest with you. Lost Highway can be cool, it's just not amazing, to be honest. Anyway, Lost Highway, if I had to rate it on a five-star basis, I would give it kind of like a mediocre three out of five stars. It's just fine, it's got its moments. Um, and again, that soundtrack, the soundtrack is the best thing about the whole movie. David Lynch knows music very well, kind of like Nicholas Winding Refn, but the soundtrack is the best thing about this movie. It is something I definitely recommend checking out on YouTube, put it on your Spotify, whatever. Check it out. Let me know what you think about that down in the comment section down below. But Lost Highway overall is a movie, three out of five for me. I can't go any higher than that. This is just not that impressive. Despite Patricia Arquette giving two really good performances, it's kind of two different characters. And um, aside from that, it is what it is. What did you think? Have you seen it? Do you love David Lynch? Do you hate David Lynch movies? Let me know everything you think down in the comments section down below. Thank you all for watching, guys. God bless you all. Catch you later, and goodbye.